Hey down, this is David Desai. Today we are going to talk about a new story that broke out about a makeup artist falling in love with Jimin and what happened there, as well as Hybe editing Jimin out of some clips and why some armies are upset with that. So hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your thumbs up, notice spilling my merch, and let's get into it. I think one of the things that can get armies riled up and really upset is when there is no consistency within certain things. In entertainment and in media, there is often no consistency. And when I say if you go backstage behind on a TV show or any sort of live broadcast, you'd see the craziness that goes on behind the scenes just so this performance can air. It is a miracle on its own that anything can air because things are literally an entire mess right before the broadcast. And it almost feels like there is no way anything will air. Either the camera guy is having a diarrhea in the bathroom or the fifth light broke or an actor or idol is feeling sick. So much happens, but within that last millisecond before everything airs, everyone always comes together and somehow it works. But this means that it's oftentimes not going to be absolutely perfect and consistent and most people understand that and it's interesting how some people in the fandom don't understand that human error can exist and especially in live broadcasts. There are some small controversies of different moments between BTS performances on TV versus the paid content that you would get to see online. I am talking about one particular performance which is from the Golden Disc Awards. BTS was performing and you can choose two ways to watch it. You can watch it for free like everyone else on TV or you can purchase a paid streaming service to and watch it that way. Some people were mad that in the paid version you see Jimin's solo moment like for a moment that camera just focuses on Jimin and you see him dancing but in the TV version it's more zoomed out and you see everyone else. I assume people were mad because they felt like Jimin is always the mistreated member and so they think that Hive purposely cut out the Jimin solo in the free version. I don't know about this. I mean obviously Jimin's solo appears to be cut out but I don't think this is any intention of hating Jimin, which is why they did that. I have a few theories. First of all, there are likely two camera setups. This is not 100% fact or confirmed as I am not at the award show, but this is how it often works. So one camera setup goes and streams it to live TV. And then there's another camera setup that is hooked up to a live feed that goes online. And likely the paid version is that feed. I say this because the shots on both the TV and the paid version are different, which means there's likely two feeds. Otherwise they'd both be exactly the same shots. The award show is not edited afterwards. It's shot and aired live like most award shows. So there's likely one team that operates the TV feed and then one that operates the paid feed. It's fairly difficult to have them both think of the same shots. If the paid camera operator was just like, oh, a Jimin looks good here, I'm gonna zoom in. Then he zooms in and gets that shot. He was likely a Jimin fan. While the TV operator might not have been focusing on Jimin, but trying to focus on everyone. So they chose a wider shot. It's so interesting how certain people in the fandom immediately just jump to conclusions when you call them out on it they get so upset but they don't acknowledge that maybe they just got it wrong and BTS would never agree or like that the fandom is spreading hate and misinformation. To claim that networks or whatever hate Jimin is complete misinformation but this information they don't mind spreading apparently and this is kind of harmful because it sends hate to the company. If the company big hit or high but does poorly or fails so does BTS. BTS owns a part of the company they hope the company does well. But one other theory that I have is just why would the paid version be exactly the same as the free one. The people who bought the paid version can watch the free version. I would actually prefer if the paid version got shots and close-up shots of the members that the TV version didn't. That's what I would be paying for to see those exclusive close-up shots or like a solo fan cam shot, you know. As always, I appreciate the people in the fandom who don't always jump to conclusions and just blindly send hate. I would love it if people really look into things before retweet. I really do believe the retweet button has harmed more people than done good. The button allows for hate to spread so quickly and for people to literally spread hate in half a second whereas on any other platform they actually have to take a minute to write it out and whatnot and then at that point maybe they are thinking about it a bit more and would stop themselves. But a retweet is so fast they don't have to think about it or ever come back to it. Jimin has been in the news a lot lately and being talked about. No surprise here as BTS is preparing for their comeback there's a lot of talk about our sweet Jimin. There was an alleged rumor about a makeup artist I say alleged because I don't think this makeup artist publicly came out and showed her face, but she talked about how her experience working with BTS. And this ended up being reported by some news sites, but take it with a grain of salt because there's no way to verify if this is 100% true. But as the rumor goes, there was a makeup artist. I believe she may have already been a fan of BTS and she applied to work for Hive as a makeup artist. And this is what makes this story even more interesting because there was a rumor that started that anyone that works with the idols has to already be 
married. Thus, there's a less chance they are there for the idea to date the boys. They would just be there to do their job. So I don't know if this alleged makeup artist was married or not, but apparently she came out and said that she felt herself falling more and more in love with Jimin as time went by and they started working together. She noticed how Jimin was so approachable and kind and probably funny and silly too, which are all features I think everyone should look for in a partner. Of course, spending long hours with them and celebrities tell their makeup artists everything. I mean, as you're in your chair getting your makeup done from 5 a.m. to sometimes the late hours of the night, if you're doing those late shows, you become kind of like family and you tell them how you're feeling. You might talk about what you liked about the show you just did or what you didn't like. And then the makeup artist can also share things about their life. So you end up having this dynamic where the idols know the makeup artist and their family really well. And you also know the idol and their family really well as the makeup artist. Mixed in with how funny Jimin is, yeah, you'd potentially fall in love with Jimin, no doubt. Apparently after her feelings surfaced and she realized, she decided to go ahead and quit. If you've never fallen in love with someone, it can be very difficult to know when you have fallen in love. And especially if that person you've fallen in love with is like a good friend to you and you don't know if you're in love or just really like being around them. And especially in this awkward position where even if you could tell them that you like them, Jimin can't reciprocate those feelings because he doesn't want to date right now. Some armies after this story broke went back to a lot of old BTS footage from either their Bangtan Bomb episodes or whatever and took notice of Jimin again and saw Jimin in the background interacting with staff or moments where a particular staff would hide her face or whatever. And they assume it could be her, but we don't know. That could be a new staff. We also don't know when this makeup artist fell in love with Jimin. What was the timeline? So we don't know if she was ever even on camera, but people assume it was her and they noticed moments where you could see Jimin being playful and fun with the makeup artist and joking around. And it is believed that Jimin really liked her too. We don't know if it's romantic or not, but I can't imagine Jimin being around someone who is kind and talks to him all the time. And I can't imagine Jimin not developing at least platonic feelings for this person. There was even a shot that some armies took that was quite interesting. It was a shot where Jimin was getting his makeup done and you could see him tear up or have watery eyes. It looked like he was going to cry. This is likely unrelated, but was used to show that this was something that could have been hard for Jimin when the makeup artist left. Now, we don't know what the reason she left was. Like, did she leave because she realized she was married and this can't happen? But Jimin can join a marriage, can't he? He'd have to leave me first though. Or did the makeup artist leave because Jimin told her he can't reciprocate those feelings? We will never know. But what do you think? Do you think Jimin got emotional or cried when she left? Or do you think, oh, it was just another makeup artist for him. He doesn't care, which, which I don't believe you can simply just not care. I really don't think she should have quit. I think if she liked him, she could have gotten over those feelings if she wanted to. It wouldn't be easy, but you can do it. Or maybe Jimin felt the same way and that they could be together one day. I don't know. It always breaks my heart to read stories like this. I know the feeling of loving someone so much and not being able to reciprocate those feelings, whether it's because they're already in a relationship or me just not having the time to sustain a relationship, even though I would like them. So it definitely hits home and it's always sad when someone leaves like that because that's her saying, I never want to see Jimin again because they will likely never talk again. Why would they, right? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link below. Thank you to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.